Hello everyone and welcome to the special playlist by Edusurge Clinics on medical statistics made easy. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and this is the second video in this playlist where we are trying to discuss the common concepts and terminologies related to medical statistics. As we have discussed last time and elaborated on the rules, there will be minimum memorizing and maximum understanding. We will be discussing predominantly the concepts and the practical relevant examples will be used to discuss these concepts. Basically, this is on applied statistics. So last time, if you missed the video, I will put a link in the description below. But we have understood the terms variable, data and observation. And we have seen some relevant examples from medical as well as non-medical field. So today in this DCOVA or DECOVA framework, we are going to define some terms which will help us in understanding the data collection process. So today we are going to discuss only two terms, which is what is a population and why we need a sample and what is a sample. So this is a very simple video, but these terms are important because they lead to a lot of confusion when we discuss statistics. And that is why this video is going to focus on clarifying these two terminologies. So like the first video, we will see some examples. And since this is medical statistic, suppose you want to know how many patients with diabetes are there in the world or you want to do a study on a drug which is useful in diabetes. So you need patients with diabetes in the world, right? But when we talk of the entire world, there are a lot of people, right? There, the world has a very huge population and therefore the number of patients with diabetes in the world is also a huge population. If we are to identify all of them or study the drug in all of them, this is time consuming. And this will take a lot of effort as well, right? So a lot of time and effort, and we will never be able to test the drug in the entire population. So one terminology that I've used twice is population, that the entire world, if we identify the patients with diabetes, then this is a population. Keep this in mind. Suppose we want to identify the most common age group that is affected by lung cancer. Is it the pediatric age group or the middle age group or the adult age group? Again, this age group we can identify in the world or we can identify, say, if we are in India and we want to study some drug on lung cancer in India or a prevention program, we can do the same study in India. But again, the population of India is huge and this is going to be a very difficult task. So the concept is that we cannot always study the whole population. It is very difficult to study the entire population. And therefore, statistics helps us in identifying a sample of the population, right? So suppose this is an entire population. I'm giving you some examples to make you understand what a population is, what are the characteristics in a population and which of these you need to keep in mind when creating a sample of the population or identifying if a sample belongs to a population. So here you can see all these hearts are looking the same. Basically, it's a homogeneous population. Suppose we select this sample you know that this sample will be representative of the whole population, right? Now, suppose we select only these hearts, okay? These hearts are the two rows, are the only hearts that we select as a sample. But even then, this is a representative of the whole population, right? So here you can make out that because the population is homogeneous, the sample size is small, and a sample can be representative of the population. Now here we have a mix of hearts, right? We have some different types of hearts. But again, if you try to create subgroups of this population, you know that even these two rows is representative of the heterogeneity of the population, right? 
the heterogeneity means that different characteristics in a single population should also be represented in the sample only then the results of sample can applied to the population suppose the population is of this kind now here there are a lot of different characteristics for each and every part of the population and this is usually how the world population or the indian population behaves and this is where different sampling techniques need to be utilized so that the sample is representative of the population so that the statistics that we do on sample give us answer for values in the population so what we can summarize is that when we are selecting sample from a population which is heterogeneous which is of the last variety the selection has to be random that is the sampling has to be random in a way that the sample is representative of the population right now a lot of questions are asked on bias in sampling but can there be a sample without a bias we will see this in upcoming videos but a very simplified answer is that there will always be some bias in creating a sample from the population the aim of statistical techniques is to reduce the bias right so coming back to our example age group at detection of lung cancer suppose this is the entire world population that is a population data what we have to do is we have to find a sample which is randomly selected and which is representative of the population right so the world population is divided into a random and a representative sample now understand that there can be multiple samples of the same population right same population can be divided into multiple samples this is a tricky topic and we are going to discuss this in upcoming videos why i am stressing on the fact that you can create multiple samples out of the same population but for now remember that since it is very difficult to study the entire population statistics help you to apply your mathematical formulas and equations on a sample of the population but the sample should be randomly selected and representative with minimal bias so now suppose we say that the mean or the average age of detection of lung cancer in world population is 49 years now this average value or the mean in population is represented by mu mu is a character which represents the average or the mean of the population so population mean okay similarly suppose we took 10 people out of the population and we calculated a mean of the age at detection of lung cancer in those 10 people and suppose our mean is 45 years now you may feel sample ka mean is 45 years but the population mean is 49 years this is always going to be there you will never have or nearly never have a exact value of the sample and the population mean or whichever value you are trying to find from the sample and apply it to the population there is always going to be a difference how to measure this difference and how to calculate these values we are going to see and that is the interesting part of statistics what you have to understand is that the population mean or the character mu is known as a parameter it is a population parameter p for p whereas when you calculate the same thing for the sample it is known as a statistic because this is a statistical creation of population parameter right ideally you should be seeing the entire population and then find out the most common age group for detection of lung cancer that is ideal that is where you will be able to find a population parameter but since you find that very tough time consuming and laborious 
statistics allows you to create a sample and that is why the sample values are known as sample statistic right so x bar is the sample mean whereas mu is the population mean there are a multiple parameters of population and representative multiple sample statistics we will see this in upcoming videos in this video the key point to understand is what is a population what is a population parameter what is a sample what is a sample statistic right so we have seen what is a population what is a sample and what is a parameter parameter is the values of the population and statistic is the values that we have calculated from our statistically created sample right in upcoming videos we will continue our discussion on the dcoa framework we will see different types of sampling which is a very commonly asked question but with a very clear understanding that this series should make statistics interesting it should make it applied in a way that you don't have to memorize stuff i hope this video helps you in clearing your doubts on what is a population and what is a sample thank you mm -hmm.